Hi my dear guys, in this video we are going to discuss about EMF equation of transformer. I hope you have well awareness about this. Yes or no guys? Let's see, I will give you four options. Option A, 4 into phi into f into n. Option B, 4.44 phi into f into n. Option C, 6.28 into pi into f into n. Option D, all of the above. All of the above. So, can you tell me which of the following is the correct EMF equation of transformer? First question. Which of the following is a correct EMF equation for transformer? First question. Second question. Which of the following is the ERMS value for a transformer? Second question. Third question, which of the following is the average EMF induced in the transformer? That is the third question. And the final question, which of the following is a maximum EMF induced in the transformer? That is the fourth question. Fourth question. So, four questions, four options. Can you tell me? Which of the following is a correct EMF equation for transformer? All of the above is the correct answer. Which of the following is a ERMS value of transformer? Option B is the correct answer. Which of the following is the average of the transformer? Option A is the correct answer. Which of the following is the maximum EMF induced in the transformer? Maximum EMF induced in the transformer? Option C correct answer. And I will ask you one thing. What is the, what is the mistake in this, uh, in this equations? What is the mistake? Did you find any mistake? Yes? Yes, yeah, that's great. What is this? This is not phi, sir. This is phi m. Generally, in transformer EMF equation, the flux involved is maximum flux, not a average or RMS. Okay, now. So, 4.44 into phi m into f into n. Of course, you know very well, right? So, let's see how these uh, equations will come. Let's see. Transformer EMF equation. Generally, what we know that the transformer EMF, which is statically induced EMF, E is equals to minus N into D phi by DT. This is actually the EMF equation given by who? Faraday. Second law, as well as Lenz law, the combination of magnitude and direction. You know, right? So, generally what is phi here? Phi is the flux what we given to the what we given to the transformer, phi is equals to phi m into sin omega t. This is what the, the flux waveform given to the transformer, which is nothing but the supply. So, I given a phi is equals to phi m into sin omega t, which is a flux waveform. This is our flux waveform. For example, the amplitude of the flux is a phi m. This is generally what I given to my transformer. Okay. Now substitute this phi value here. Yes. Substitute here. E is equals to minus N into differentiation of differentiation of phi M into sin omega T. Yes or no guys? Can you solve this? Minus N into phi M is the constant value maximum value is a constant value differentiation of sine is a cos omega t cos omega t and differentiation of omega t is a omega so what is the answer minus n into phi m into omega into cos omega t are you clear with this are you clear with this yes so what we can write this cos omega t generally cos omega t nothing but sin of 90 minus omega t sin of 90 minus omega t 90 minus theta first quadrant all are positive so sin of 90 minus omega t is nothing but cos omega t yes or no guys so here minus is there right so now send this minus to this bracket what is the value n into phi m into omega n into phi m into omega sin 
omega t minus 90 because of this minus this minus i included here so sin omega t minus 90 now this is our emf equation this is my flux equation whereas this is my emf equation you need to remember this equation guys for example if omega t is equals to 0 phi is equals to 0 if omega t is equals to 90 if omega t is equals to 90 phi is equals to maximum if omega t is equals to 180 phi is equals to 0 if omega t is equals to 270 is a negative maximum which is minus phi m omega t is equals to 360 is 0 what you know up to now now can you forecast for this yes omega t is equals to 0 when omega t is equals to 0 what is the answer so sine of 0 minus 90 nothing but sine of minus 90 nothing but minus 1 minus 1 into this value so the answer is minus n into phi m into omega where omega t is equals to 0 e is equals to minus n into phi m into omega which is negative maximum where omega t is equals to 90 degrees can you tell me what happens when omega t is equals to 90 degrees 90 minus 90 is 0 when 90 minus 90 is 0 the emf also 0 because sin 0 0 when omega t is equals to 180 degrees yes are you looking here understanding or not guys so emf equation 180 minus 90 which is equals to 90 so the answer is n into phi m into omega which is a which is a positive value which is a positive value again it has to zero here again it has to negative maximum what is this maximum value this maximum value is a n into phi m into omega the n into phi m into omega will be greater than phi m right greater than phi m generally this is our emf equation this is the emf equation or emf curve and this is the flux curve this is the flux curve so see here so see here this is phi is equals to phi m into sin omega t where phi m is the amplitude of the curve e is equals to e m into sin omega t e is equals to e m into sin omega t where e m is the amplitude of the curve amplitude of the curve amplitude nothing but amplitude bole to kya hai sir a maximum value hai kya yes or no guys so this is the maximum value of uh, emf induced the emf induced in the transformer which is a maximum value e maximum is equals to omega into phi m into n this is e maximum omega nothing but angular frequency which is 2 pi f 2 pi f into phi m into omega nothing but the e maximum is equals to 2 times of 3.14 2 times of 3.14 nothing but 6.28 into phi m into f into n this is e maximum e maximum this is our third option like that you need to analyze the emf equation like this they will ask you what is the phase shift between what is the phase shift between supply voltage and induced voltage you know very well 180 degrees yes or no guys so generally the phase shift between supply voltage and induced voltage is 180 degrees but they will ask you what is the phase shift between flux and induced emf flux and induced emf if flux is at omega t but the induced emf is at omega t minus 90 degrees omega t minus 90 degrees if my flux is here sorry if my emf is here the flux will be 90 degrees displaced or if my flux is here my flux is here it may be a flux value omega t but this is minus 90 emf minus 90 nothing but 90 degrees lagging 90 degrees lagging the angle between flux and emf is 90 degrees lagging 
see this is important for us like a conceptual questions they will ask you in competitive exams always don't expect the numerical questions we need to go through the concept actually okay so are you clear now this is a e maximum emf induced in the transformer of course phi m phi is a flux what is the flux density can you tell me the flux density nothing but flux per area flux per area where flux is equals to where flux is equals to flux density into area where maximum flux is equals to maximum flux is equals to maximum flux density into area so what can i write here 6.28 into 5m 5m can be written as b maximum into area into f into n what is the flux involved in the transformer emf equation the flux involved in the transformer emf equation is a maximum value what is the flux density involved in the transformer emf equation is a maximum value what is the area involved in the transformer emf equation what is the area involved in the transformer emf equation is a net cross sectional area getting my point net cross sectional area right this is e maximum emf and generally what they will ask you questions for example if the flux constant if the flux constant the b maximum and area multitude with a magnitude also constant flux constant nothing but if phi2 is equals to phi1 ultimately b2 a2 should be equals to b1 a1 b2 a2 should be equals to b1 a1 if the flux constant the flux density and area multiplied magnitude should be constant getting my point so like that if they asked you any questions you have to give the answer conceptually so now i just calculated the maximum value of emf now we need to calculate the average value and rms value let's see in the next video yes can you calculate that right 